Hey, what is going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. I am out here on the trail today and we are down here in southern Utah. This trail leads to some dinosaur tracks and I figured, hey, why not go run over some dinosaur tracks with my Axial STX-10 3 Gladiator. Now you might be noticing this thing is really wide with how wide the tires sit on on this. And that is because I just got done installing Capra axles on this thing. Now the main challenge with installing some Capra axles on this little SCX-10-3 is that the front differential on the original SCX-10-3 axles was actually a offset differential. And the Capra axles are centered. So what that means is your driveline gets put on a really tough angle. The second challenge on getting this thing to work was uh, actually setting up the three link again because you have to run a pan hard to make your three link work and the capper axles are set up for four link. So this is really my first time taking it out and wheeling it. This thing's got some awesome side hill at this point because it's so wide. Let's see if we can't get this front end to come up. Oh yeah. So we might get a little peek here at the axle. As you can see, centered front diff, and then I did make my own metal pan hard bar. And the way that works is it bolts directly onto the Capra servo mount because the Capras run the servos on top of the axle and these SCX 10.3s have the servo built into the chassis, which is why you want a three link. If you tried to four link with a chassis mounted servo, it doesn't work. I've tried it before on another Frankenstein project and uh, it just does not work well. As you can see, this wider track pattern really gives it a ton of articulation, super stable. That thing was really sideways back there. But super fun little truck. Let's see how this thing runs today. As you can see, this trail out here in southern Utah does lead down to that big patch of rocks down there, and there are some dinosaur tracks. Let's go check them out. The long wheelbase of this Gladiator really helps on steep climbs. Now that it's so much wider than it was stock, it's a lot more stable side to side. Some fun loose terrain here. There's still plenty of traction on that sandstone. All right, guys, here we are. If you might, I'm hoping we can pick this up on the camera pretty well. So right up here, right in front of my Jeep's tires, there's a dinosaur track. But not only is there one, this guy was walking along. So there's another one. Let's just point it out with my hand. Yeah, so there's another guy right here. That's his three toes. Big old footstep right there. So pretty dang cool. Cruising right across that dinosaur track. And then there's a third one up here. This one's got pretty good definition on it. Sorry, the lighting's a little tough today. It's overcast. Might be kind of hard to see. But there's definitely a dinosaur track there. And then this big dent is also a dinosaur track. This one's a little bit eroded. Basically, way back when dinosaurs were walking around, this was the riverbed. And it was muddy. And then, for whatever reason, this dirt just hardened up. And, uh, and then it got covered up with a bunch of dirt. As you can see here, it's like limestone or something that ended up covering all this up. Finally, once the limestone eroded away, um, once it became a riverbed again, uh, it opened up these dinosaur tracks. And so you can come out here, you can walk on them. There's no restrictions or anything. You can come check them out. But uh, obviously I'm not gonna like do any burnouts or anything on them. I think this is a really cool site. I wanted to share with you guys and I wanna make sure other people can see them in the future as well. So just wanted to come out, check out these dinosaur tracks. And there are a couple other lines out here I wanted to drive on. Cut hard right. My dig unit is acting up a little bit on me. I need to adjust my endpoints again. Oh, there we go. Right into a rock. Plenty of clearance. <laughs> Thanks to those Capra portals. So if you guys are looking for more info on these dinosaur tracks, this is in Warner Valley, Utah. It is not terribly far from Zion National Park. So if you guys are out in that area at some point in your life, cruise out to Warner Valley. It's cool to see the dinosaur tracks and uh, it's super easily accessible. It's a nice mellow hike, maybe a quarter mile down the trail. We can't get up this little climb right here. Get my tire up on that little rock. Now my 
tires are all sandy, it's gonna be real tough to keep this thing balanced. So this rock is slick from the river. There we go. Looks like those crawlers are gonna hook up, no problem. Well, awesome guys, I hope you enjoyed this little hike. Hope you enjoyed the description of the upgrades I did to my Axial Gladiator. And most of all, I hope you enjoyed the scenery as well as checking out a new area out here in Southern Utah where we can go and drive over dinosaur tracks, which is pretty wild. So pretty cool. We'll see you guys on the next one. Get subscribed, gonna be putting up consistent content. There are links for everything on my truck down below. If you guys are interested, those are affiliate links. They help out my channel. We'll see you guys around.